So our whole political adventure started. Uh, on February 2nd, we saw Seth Moulton at a house party here in Bedford. We went to our first announced candidate house party, and that was for Cory Booker over in Manchester. It was packed. We went to see Elizabeth Warren at a meet and greet. <sighs> March 19th, we saw Beto O'Rourke. It was very interesting for me to watch him clenching his hands behind his back, probably getting out a little bit of the road fatigue maybe and, and gearing himself up for his speech. February 9th, we saw Senator Sherrod Brown. And on April 6th, life. we actually did two in one day. We saw Pete Buttigieg, we Senator went up to Kirsten meet Gillibrand uh, to meet Governor William Weld, who's Governor former, Inslee from Washington, for Beto O'Rourke, woman Tulsi Gabbard, Senator Kamala Harris, and Secretary Julian this time Castro, it was with Senator um, Hattie Klobuchar. That brings us through May 19th. Generally, if the candidates have a question and answer session after, so I'll take my phone and just open my notes app and just take notes on what the questions were and what people say. So it helps me keep track of everything. Twenty-seven events so far, not counting the one we're going to tonight and the two tomorrow and the one next weekend. My family has lived in New Hampshire most of our lives. We are really privileged enough to have the time to invest in seeing all of the presidential candidates, and I mean all of them. There are a lot of appealing candidates right now. It's going to be a really difficult decision to choose one. Is there some significance to the, the math signs? Yeah, I, I'm curious about that as well. Oh, these are the interpreters hired for the event. Thank you. That's, that's fabulous. What are you most looking forward to hearing from the candidate tonight? My most interesting part is the access and the providing of access within the deaf world. The education, the language, the deprivation that many deaf children have had to endure. Yes, I agree. So if you are here tonight, you have heard these things. There's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. And the first time you heard that, you were like, wow, that literally sounds too good to be true. That must be a gimmick. But I'm here with you to say that the $1,000 a month needs to happen. This is a math hat. What does that stand for? Make America think harder. Make America think harder. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Hi, awesome. I'm from Sherry Schmidt. I'm from Bedford. We're hoping we can get you out to visit sometime. We have the first in the nation primary. When candidates come to New Hampshire, they're trying to find their legs for their campaign, to try out their stump speeches and to see what's resonating with different people. I always look at it from an English teacher's perspective. This is the rough draft of their presidential campaign. We are here to help them make edits and to decide what the final cut's going to look like. Um, Senator, thank you for coming thank to New Hampshire. <laughs> um, I'm, I'd like to discuss just a little or hear your thoughts on health care. Um, I have a son who's type 1 diabetic. I mean, I've seen the price of insulin skyrocket. I'm also wondering why we have such a wonderful, most wonderful and most powerful country in the world, and we have people out there who are using GoFundMe right. to help pay for their health care yes. expenses. Yeah. What are we so, going to do about it? So I would say that the two biggest things I hear about when I'm... My son was five years old when he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and when the ACA passed during Obama's tenure and we knew that pre-existing conditions would be covered... I was so relieved, I cried. It was just a huge weight lifted off my shoulder to know that my son would always be able to have insurance coverage, because if he doesn't get his insulin, he dies. That's the bottom line. My lexicon is called Medicare X. They would give everybody in America the choice to buy into a public plan administered by Medicare. Of course you're here. Good. It's Saturday. Where else would we be? I we need another I candidate. Saturday, <laughs> We're being a rock star candidate. today.
So I loved being with my grandmother, and one hot August day, she took me to a campaign headquarters. And I'm watching them stuff the envelopes, and I'm just about 10, and I'm, I'm mesmerized, and I'm, I'm just fixated on their arms, because their arms are just jiggling back and forth, their <laughs> arms do. And I said to myself at the time, I want to be just like them. <laughs> sure enough, it's the arms. On the face of the planet to make this right, and then we take the next steps. We rewrite this country's immigration laws in our own image, reflecting our genius, our power, and our potential, our history, and our best traditions. More than a million dreamers in this country. Jay Tapper texts me, I can't find the shooting in the newspaper. And I'm like, yeah, because it seems like our country doesn't care anymore. What happened to the America? I feel like I'm doing my civic duty. I feel engaged. This is something that too few people get the chance to do. But, you know, I, I look at this and I think my job as a citizen is to learn as much as I can. Thank you. The, the, the country is so large and the problems are so diverse and so myriad that sometimes even just wrapping your head around it um, is mind boggling. We keep our eye on what's in really important, and it's not the fluffy stuff. What are the policies? What are the things that are going to be enacted? What are the things that are actually impacting people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis? And that's what people need to know about. It's not the Twitter firestorms. It's not the viral videos. So get up! Get up and let's take back this country! It's what, what's at the heart of this campaign? Where's the vision for where people are going with the country? Because that's really what people need to know. Ugh. Time to buckle up and go home. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> yeah.